just to go back to Trudeau though, um, <clears throat> who is a duplicitous Ken doll, which I'm, I, that's great. That's, that seems to be true. Yes. Um, <clears throat> from his self-imposed quarantine, he managed to tweet from, you know, what must be, you know, it must be very hard for him. Um, Zach, if you will show this to all of the parents out there, this is from yesterday, to all of the parents out there, if you haven't gotten your kids vaccinated yet, please get that taken care of as soon as you can. It's the best thing you can do to keep them and those around them safe right now. Hashtag Kids Vaccines Day. Kids Vaccines Day? What the hell is that? Well, um, helpfully, Prime Minister Trudeau has followed that up with, if you have questions about the vaccines, that's okay. Science Up First, Child Health Can and Sandbox Canada are hosting a town hall tonight. That was last night. Sorry, guys, you missed it. Um, where you can ask your questions there and get the best available evidence from Canadian healthcare leaders. Here's the details. So here we go. This is National Kids and Vaccines Day. That was yesterday. We all missed it. Now This is only in Canada. You know, our, our people didn't think of it. Um, wait, wait, wait. They put Kids and Vaccines Day on Holocaust Remembrance Day? That was yesterday? Wow. Was, was that yes, January 27th was yeah. Holocaust Remembrance Day? Yes. Um, so, okay, just for those listening, the COVID-19 vaccines approved in Canada are safe, effective, and save lives. Let's move the needle, pun intended, and promote vaccine confidence to promote the largest unvaccinated cohort of people in Canada, kids. So as, so as has been pointed out over and over and over again, as is actually clear in the crap data that we are receiving, this much is actually completely clear. The age stratification risk for this disease is so incredible. Usually you would see a U-curve, right? Usually for many diseases, you would see old people and young people at greater risk and, uh, and uh, young adults and middle-aged adults at relatively low risk. Not so for COVID, not so for COVID. The older you are, the more at risk you are from COVID. What is a greater risk for the young in this case, especially young men and boys, is these vaccines. And not, not only is the risk greater, but the loss is greater. The loss is greater to, for kids. To the extent that they Always. scar their hearts with myocarditis, you're talking about living an entire life with a scarred heart rather than yeah. living the last few decades of life if you were, you know, right. 50 the, or 60. The idea of a one-size-fits-all mandate for everyone, regardless of past exposure, regardless of actual risk due to age, regardless of actual risk due to comorbidities, of you know of both the disease and from the vaccines is again anti science this is not policy based in scientific thinking it can't be because static conclusions don't fit with the complexity of a global pandemic they don't it is anti scientific it is not even unscientific it is anti-scientific to be recommending this, especially in light of the fact that to the extent that the vaccines work at all and they prevent kids from getting Omicron, they may be exposing those same kids to future variants, which may not be so uh, so safe for healthy kids. Yes. And the idea that we would expose kids to future risk and then put those kids as they grow up in the bind of having to accept whatever whatever remedy is being provided by big pharma at that time rather than allow them to acquire immunity which they can do cheaply now which you know i wish that wasn't the mechanism but it's far better than what they're being provided the idea that we are going to basically you know use triumphalist language and tell people you're protecting your child protecting define protecting from what right yeah from what are you protecting them you're you're vaccinating them with an experimental yes experimental remedy that yeah. is dangerous to them you you are doing that to protect them from something that could be as mild as a cold or milder right and you're not telling them to supplement their vitamin d because they live too far north to make it in the winter and they're almost certainly deficient right what kind of upside down world are we living in 